Hello, Dominic here, and I'm going to talk about viewport lighting. When you go to the menu, view, edit viewport light, now you see in the tool pipe I have a tool active which is viewport light rig. To set it for the top view, all I have to do is with this tool active, click in this viewport. And now you see you get these sliders. If you don't get these sliders, go to the tool pipe and in the V column, right click and set it to advanced. If it's set to invisible, you see no sliders. If it's set to basic, you don't see them. And if you set it to advanced, you will see those sliders. Now to adjust, I can simply click and drag in the viewport and you will see the rotation values change. And this way I can interactively set my viewport slide. I also can set it over here, for instance 0 and 0 on Y. But I think this is a bit buggy. This is not correct. The light should now shine perpendicular in the view and it doesn't. When you change values over here, it only gets accepted correctly if you hover over one of those sliders. Did you see it pop? The moment I hovered over one of the sliders, these settings get accepted, so be careful, oh, just remember that. For instance, I'm going to set this to zero, you don't see any change, but the moment I hover over this, then these settings get accepted. So I'm going to set it back to one and hover over this slider, now it gets accepted. In my personal setup, when I click here in current, I can't scroll through, this means I only have one light. Current zero means one light. The same for this viewport. You have to be careful when you click in it. So with this light rig active, I can click in other viewports, but when you also accidentally move your mouse a bit, then you will adjust also the light's rotation. So I'm going to set it back to zero, zero, over here also, I, as I explained earlier, I can do it over here manually and then I have to hover over the sliders to make it accept it. Um, and also in the perspective view, one light at zero, zero, this gives me kind of a headlight, meaning when uh, no matter how I rotate my viewport, my light is always going to shine, as if you will, from my direction to the back of the viewport, meaning that always, um, no matter how I rotate, my front is going to be lit. And this is the way I want it. Now I'm going to drop the tool. Let's say I want, I find that my upper side and down side is too dark. Well, I can add a viewport by going to view, excuse me, uh, a viewport light, Go by going to view, add viewport light. Because my perspective view was the active view and you can see that by this little icon in the upper left corner when that circle is yellow this means this is my active viewport by adding that light now I have two lights over here so let's in inspect that go back to view and edit viewport light so right now you see this is set to one so the second one I added is the active one when I go back with the slider and click on it I get my first light, I can adjust the settings, click on this slider to go to my next one, and I can adjust the settings. Let's say I set this one at zero. Remember that settings only get accepted by clicking in the viewport or by hovering over the slider. Uh, a bit of a bug, I think. So my second light is the active one. I'm going to click and drag in the viewport, I'm going to make it a bit more intense. Uh, for instance, point 0.7, uh, set it, give it a different color, for instance, that one, uh, and click and drag. Now you see I have a second light with a different color, and I can adjust by clicking and dragging in the viewport, or I can adjust the rotation by clicking and dragging these sliders. Going to add a third light, add viewport light. Again, this is being added to the perspective viewport because this one is my active one. You see the dot being yellow. Again, view, edit viewport light, click in the viewport. Um, 
now the previous one was still active. I have 0, 1 and 2. This is my third light that I've just added. going to give this one also a different color. Hover over the slider and you see and now I can click and drag and adjust. So I can give different viewport lights. Now let's say I want to remove the second light. Not the third light, but the second light. Well, in order to do that I have to go to view and remove viewport light. But right now current is set to 2. This means this is my third light which is being selected. And I don't want to remove that. Well, then I click to go to current 1. This is my second light. Remember this is an array. An array always starts from index 0. So 0 is my first light. 1 is my second light and 2 is my third light. This can be a bit confusing but this is something you will have to deal with. So select current 1 which is my second light and now when I go to view, remove viewport light, that second light is removed and I will show you again edit viewport light, click in the viewport so now current is one, uh, 0, 1 and if I keep clicking, there isn't a third one, so it won't go further than one. And again, with this one selected, if I wanted to delete it, going to view, remove viewport light. And again, view, edit viewport light, click in the viewport. And now you can click over here and it will not have any effect because I only have one light. So I think I have covered most of what I've wanted to cover. So remember, if you adjust the settings over here, often those settings will not get accepted until you hover over these sliders or if you click in the viewport. I prefer hovering because clicking all uh, sometimes also results in dragging a tiny bit and adjusting your rotation. So just hover over the sliders if you have set your settings over here and it will get accepted. Hope I've covered everything, hope you find it useful. This was Dominic, bye for now.